Hello everyone and welcome back to rank 9 of the F123 co-op career mode. Yes, we're back this weekend here for the British Grand Prix. If you missed out on the last video from Austria, uh, don't watch it. Gary's a cheat uh, is all I'm going to say on that matter. And I'll let you into a little secret as well, ladies and gents. After the race last week... Gary admitted to me that it was his fault as well. He'll deny it now he's back no, on stream. No, that did not happen. <laughs> he literally, he went, that now my stream's happen. ended. I can admit that was my fault. So I'm not happy with him. Um, but we have big news, don't we, Gary? As we head towards the British Grand Prix this weekend. Uh, we do. We've uh, switched teams, Matt. Uh, Zach Brown came calling after a, pro a poor performance from their two drivers. Um, and, well, now here we are. Uh, back on McLaren for the final half of the final season. We've we've gone we've gone full circle on this game, which I quite like as well. Um, it has meant that Lando Norris has been sacked. Oscar Piastri has gone back to Alpine. Uh, maybe it's going to be Esteban Ocon in a Haas. Uh, we we don't know just yet. But Daniel Ricciardo, the only driver still to score a point this season. Uh, but there's six points between Gary and I. So now we've got a fair fight to the end of the year. Wonderful, wonderful. This I'm hoping is a track that suits us. I forgot to do predictions, chat. I'm sorry. We'll do them for the race. I forgot to your do boy, the engine change. Your boy's rusty. You forgot to do the engine change. Yeah, we're just going to roll with it. So your car's absolutely knackered. And you're still going to out-qualify me. Uh, not based off the first couple of corners, that's for sure. Oh, don't say Piastri's going to take pole. Slow start to the lap there. I just... I'm, I'm a seem second to off. I'm seven tenths down, and I just don't get where I'm losing time everywhere against the AR in this game. Is it going to be That's the back mark, mark, back row bandits? <laughs> I think P20. it is. P19. <laughs> P19. <laughs> in our first Let's go. McLaren's oh, back on form. <laughs> oh, Bottas at NASCAR. Oh, God. I don't think that would work out. Oscar Piastri pole position in his first race for Alpine. Meanwhile, at the other end, <laughs> Gary and I we fire. <laughs> we fire Piastri, and he gets promoted to pole, while we uh, go 19th and 20th within oh, a tenth of dear. a second of each other. That's one of the closest Max qualifying we've had. by the way, P16. Verstappen's thrown it away as well. The fact yep. that everyone else, with the exception of Ricardo, even Logan Sargent, is seven tenths away from pole. This. I'll tell you what, this has got to be some of the most even AI I've ever seen in a career mode, Gary. It is wild. Right, come on in, Gary. It's very, very wet. How are we going to fare, sir? Are we going to pick up a dub today? From the back of the grid? I'm going to aim for a safe bet here and go for a top five. That's my, uh, that's my goal. A safe bet is a top five finish on the back of the grid. I love it, sir. Uh, well, there's not much strategy to do here. Uh, so, it looks like it could switch to enters towards the tail end as well. So, it's going to be Hopefully. interesting to see, like, how it's always we can, nice when you get a bit of strategy. Uh, time that. Yeah. All right, boys. 22 place grid penalty, and I go from 20th to 20th. Matt's already on the interest. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Dude, that's a guy right there that's just a lot more brave than I am. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm Gary, it's so it's not fun. <laughs> I'm not, just, just, a, just a heads up here, you know, never mind, I'm gonna let you do it for me. Thank you. I'm gonna try and find my way through. The staff one's already up like three spots. So I had a look on the um, strategy thing, and it reckoned doing this on a no stop was four seconds quicker than doing full wets on a no stop. So you're, you're banking on the four seconds. So I'm banking on the idea, We've yeah, seen that you this game's not try lying. a no stop before on inches. Yeah. And it, it led to a photo finish. Did it? I can't remember this. Oh Brazil. yeah. Brazil. Oh Brazil, yes. I completely forgot about that race. Oh, Gary as well. I just remembered. We're going to now actually have to use strategy with each other again, aren't we? None of this pitting on the same lap. Yeah, that does help. A lot. If we can get away from each other. Yeah, but... It's it's if we can get away but from each other. if Gary. we stay together, someone's getting screwed. Yep. And I think we both know who it is. It's you. It's me. Yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> it will be me. 
Nice move. Good job. Did I help you out there, sir? You did. Barely. Oh, wonderful. Gary is an F1 world champion, to be fair. With McLaren, nonetheless. I I wonder how many games it's going to take me before I can win a title in this series. Oh, Bottas is struggling in that Alfa Romeo. Oh, Albon locks up. What on earth is this? I think Zhou Guan Yu is having another heroic drive, but he's holding everyone up. I don't like races like this. How long have I been making F1 content for? Uh, on and off for about four years, and then now more seriously for about four years. So pretty much eight years, all in all. He is one of the most disgusting drinks I've ever had in my life. I am with you on that one, sir. It is so bad. Yeah, McLaren. Oh, Alwyn's gone. Okay. That happened right in front of me. And off on in his new Haskar then. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Paris has just been turned. What's going on up here? Oh, Paris just got turned here? by science. That's I didn't incredible. Even, I just kind of briefly saw Red Bull just kind of in my peripheral <laughs> just got over there. Turned. <laughs> Sight, I think it was on a safety car. Those two yellows right there together. Yeah. Well, Sight, I don't think Albon's out. I think Albon had a tire down. Hey, I don't know if he managed that. What is happening? Oh, Joe is definitely struggling. I think uh, it was Joe, actually, sorry, that turned Sergio Perez. My but God, just, the car just goes out of nowhere, that same corner every time. I just watched him understeer down at the end of the hangar straight. <laughs> it just tipped Perez into a spin. Try to go around the outside here. Oh. Right to the points, ladies oh and God, gents. Uh, that's a cheeky one, but we'll take it. I think Joe is definitely struggling. Oh, I've got the straight line speed though. Come on, come on, come on. <sighs> yes. I'm gonna muscle Just him out really hard. Oh my god, I'm going way wide. Tips Good. for That's driving in the wet. Don't spin. Hulkenberg's in. That seems like an early stop, Gary. Is he going to Winters? I think so. You reckon? Yes, is it not he is. too early? Is he? Wow, okay. That's funny, because as I was headed by the pit lane, I'm like, I feel like I should put on injuries right now. Oh, Solar, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> like, completely, like, I have so many bottles, I forget about some of them. So, Hulkenberg pit. I reckon he got front wing damage, though, Gary. I reckon that forced him into an early stop. But, yeah, I would definitely say Inter is the way to go. Because Gary, then, Ooh. he's going to head into the pit lane. Such a slow speed there. Yeah, 37, really isn't it? gotta get it back down. And do you know why it's 37? I have no idea. Maybe because of the corner that's right there? I don't know. Nope, because of the start line. It, oh, was, it was quicker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. One year, and they've just never thought we'll move the start line instead. Do you think the rumors of Max Stephen Rebel are true? Uh, I reckon maybe when the new engine wrecks come in. But before then, probably not. Everyone really needs to get uh, those Williams. 26 regulations right as yeah. they are shooting themselves in the foot with the sport right now. Yes. Uh, Williams RCG will be back hopefully next week. It's just I've been so busy with other stuff recently. Hey, look how much I'm just reeling in old Logan boy here. Oh, he's, oh god, he's desyncing there for a second. How are you the one struggling with desync here? It's it well when I have a like poor connection with you, that's what will happen. But well, I thought all the AI control on your end. I've just got a race. No, because if there's a bad connection peer to peer as well, it'll still cause AI to oh. um, lag as well. Oh, Gasly, huge moment. That's gonna leave him vulnerable. Oh, I'll get on that throttle nice and early. Pierre, you beefed up with me at the start of the year. Round the outside we'll go. Doesn't happen often, but we've jumped the world championship leader. Thank you very much. Oh, come on. Are the AI, do you reckon they'll actually pit, or do you reckon they're just going to try and stay out? I think they're trying out? to hang on. Because I'm now starting to make big time on them. Like, I pulled out near enough three seconds over Gasly in one lap. And I'm up into the podium places. Cool, though. Yeah, it's an odd little race. I'm not enjoying like it, everyone's though. Everyone's just not abruptly going in and 
one lap every oh, on Switch I kind of thing. I forgot to put that in my off-season video that I'm using a tire wear mod now. Oh? That's a thing? Yep. So basically, it turns one stop races into about three stops. Oh man, <laughs> that's awful. However, I'm pretty sure I can do it on two with the new, with like how far the cars have developed. Yeah, yeah. Because like people have been commenting and I had agreed. I'm like, yeah, one stops. They're just not really that entertaining. That um, but that's Second obviously place. what it is. And you can just do the same thing every time. Softs to mediums. So I'm like, I just kind of want to find something else that'll keep it interesting. And I'm a, don't forget, guys, I'm now a Formula 2 team owner in the career mode starting in this season. Gary, oi! Huh. I was about to say Gary's making moves, but I almost made a move to spin out. As I've moved up to P2 now, we have just got to try and ruin. It's basically going to be either Oscar Piastri's first race for Alpine he's going to win, or our first race back for McLaren, hopefully we're going to win. Or when we inevitably take each other out, Charles Leclerc just wins. <sighs> oh, yes, P1, Gary! So for those of you yeah, that have come to the stream a little bit late, um, we've both left Haas and Alpine, respectively. Zach Brown called us both up and was like, lads, I need you both back. I love you and I miss you. So Gary and I are back at McLaren and I tell you what, so far, it's going well. I've already got a co-op partner, I'm afraid, real PvP. Yeah, I'm right here. Who's coming in here trying to steal my place? <laughs> Hulkenberg's up to P3 then, so the Hulkenberg podium dream is on. He is moving. It's just whether, yeah. I've in on him quite a bit. Oscar and co pit. Oscar Piastri is staying out. So I think they're going to try and go to the end. In front of us. Hamilton's pitting, Hamilton's in. What yellow. is this? What's the yellow for? There's nothing around us happening. Um, That's weird. Oh, okay. What is going on? What is that about? I, don't know. I think it's I have just. No idea. Maybe the AI is struggling yellow. to stop? Oh, it's the Merc behind you breaking down. Oh. Russell appears to be out a bit late on in the day. Heartbreak for him is Gary now is going to move over to P4. McLaren, this could be a huge result. With their all-new lineup for their home Grand Prix. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> They're shattering my dreams of a fastest lap. I gotta find 2.1 seconds here. AI, absolutely mental. I mean, track has. I mean, it stopped raining at last. Track I guess. House. I have lapped someone. I've lapped a has. <laughs> Please say it says to Ocon. I doubt it is, but I want to believe. Tires at 60% though. No, I think it's fine soon. As we make our way through Magda Beckett's for the final time. McLaren, I don't believe they've won a race since Gary and I left the team. But they're going to be back on the top step of the podium this weekend. They're going to get two cars on the podium. And a Nico Hulkenberg splitting them. It's got to be a feel-good result oh, for everyone. As we make our way in towards the final couple of corners. So much heartbreak with Alpine. But we've come back to McLaren. A place that we want to call home. And it is P1, the no stop to glory. You love to see it. Woo! Uh, yes, Cube Solver. A few times. It's Gary across the line for P3. Got a crash. That was me. We'll take P3. I celebrate over the line in style, sir. Oh, yeah. she's warm outside, baby. Bottas and Alfa Romeo have been pulling off some mad strats recently. First and third. Gary, look at that. P1, baby. McLaren are back on top. We'll take it. Any big surprise? I mean, it's all probably big surprises, isn't it? Hulkenberg getting his first ever podium. Bottas P5. The no stop to glory, Gary. We love it. Perez recovered to P6, despite getting taken out. And poor old Oscar yeah. Piastri. It was looking pretty easy for him early on, but it absolutely fell apart by the end of the day. Magnussen a lap down. Russell not able to finish. And yeah, somehow Sargent still finished three seconds behind Alex. 
despite a five second quicker lap and one less pit stop. What on earth has happened? Ricardo's now 21st in a 20 driver championship. Wild. Absolutely wild. Uh, in terms of championship though, Gary, um, I'm at P7 now. Just five points behind Lewis Hamilton. I reckon still P2 runner up by the end of the season is possible here. Uh, you now, the gap is 16 points, but you're up inside the top 10 as well. I reckon there could be a big scrap for P2 by the end of the year. Uh, as McLaren... We're top of the constructors! I'd forgot about that, Gary. We love to see it. Thank you all so much for watching, though. Thanks. If you have enjoyed, please do make sure to leave a like, get yourself subscribed, and we'll be back very soon ready for the French Grand Prix.